Hello everyone, in this video I want to give you some tips for how best to use Asana throughout the day. In order to get the most value and the most benefit from Asana, this really is the kind of tool that you should be kind of keeping open on your browser and checking in with multiple times. Rather than using it as a tool that you check in with maybe once a day or even a couple of times per week where you're going to find you, you're not keeping up, I think it is the kind of thing that even though it feels like a bit of a distraction, it will keep you more organized if you are referring to Asana regularly throughout the day. If you have any questions at the end of this video, please leave me a comment below. Or if you're interested in learning more about getting some one-on-one -on -one help, maybe with team training as well, I'll include a link where you can book a complimentary, no obligation introductory call with me. I'd love to uh, um, learn more about how you need some help and see how I can support you. So into this video, here we are. Now, I'm on the My Tasks page. This is the page that shows you everything assigned to you from all of the different projects that you're working on. So these could be tasks you've created for yourself or tasks that people have assigned to you. They're all going to show up in here. Now this is one of the most important screens that you'll really be working from regularly throughout the day because it shows you what you need to do from all of those projects. The first thing you want to do is take advantage of these new today, upcoming and later sections. So as new tasks, new tasks are being created, you should sort them into these sections. So here's a new task. And it's in this new section. It's a bit like an unread email. Once I've clicked on it, had a look, maybe I can comment, reply to the person who assigned this to me. I should then click on this blue dot and sort it into today, upcoming or later based on this due date. So today is obviously everything due today. This task is for Wednesday, so I'll mark it for upcoming. And what Asana will do is it will actually move tasks through these sections based on the date. So on Wednesday, when I open up Asana, this task here will actually have been moved up into today. Which is, what, which is the case for all of these things here. So I've just opened up Asana this morning. These are the tasks that have been populated in here. Asana's already done half the work for me, which is great. Now what I might do is actually manually drag some of these around and reorganize them to order in, uh, put them in the order in which I want to work. I'm gonna take this a step further. I'm gonna create some sections for myself called uh, afternoon, and end of day. And I can just type those words and I can put a colon at the end and it will format the, the line as a heading. So maybe I want to uh, work on those things this morning. There's my afternoon tasks and here's some stuff for the end of the day. And it's just a nice visual way of breaking up the tasks rather than dealing with one list. I can sort of add some structure to my tasks and, and organize my time a little bit better. You'll also see I've actually got some tags on here, um, some colored tags that illustrate how long the tasks, uh, I expect the tasks to take. So I've got them actually favorited on my sidebar here. And so the quick tasks, you know, uh, quick follow-ups or five minute tasks are green, slightly darker, uh, 30 minutes, whether, whether it's a call or a 30 minute task are yellow, uh, one hour tasks or one hour calls are orange, and then anything two hours or longer is a red. And this for me is just a nice visual way of highlighting kind of what types of tasks I have on my to-do list today. Obviously, if I had lots of red things, I might need to push some of them to tomorrow. And so it just adds a nice visual component to this task list. This actually becomes in handy for me as well. I personally use a time blocking method and I will schedule time to work on tasks, not for the five minute things, but anything that takes maybe 15 or 30 minutes or longer. I actually block out the time on my calendar for those things. So this, these tags come in handy for that as well. Now throughout the day, obviously as you're working on tasks, you need to mark them as complete. So you can do that from the, uh, ch uh, the, the tick here or over here. So marking those as complete is a nice way of getting them off your list. And it also notifies anyone that assigned them to you or any followers of the task, it notifies them that you've completed the work as well. As new tasks are coming in throughout the day, maybe someone's assigned you another task, just be conscious of these new tasks coming in and sort them accordingly as you go. One of the common mistakes I see is people let those new tasks pile up and it pushes everything in the, in the today section down. So the important stuff actually gets missed. If you're working in a team, keep an eye on this inbox as well for any new notifications or comments that are coming in. Be sure to reply and then archive the notifications when you're done. That's definitely one of those areas you need to be checking in with uh, at least a couple of times every day. As you're doing your work, maybe you're thinking of new tasks to complete. Um, here's an email, for example, that I've received, and I could actually turn this into a task. So simply by forwarding the email to x at mail.asana.com, I could actually clean up this message a bit first. Maybe I don't want to include the um, signature as well, um, just the text and the image, and I might even clean up that subject as well. 
I can forward that to Asana. It gets the email out of my inbox, so maybe I'm going to archive that now, and it puts it on my task list ready for me to deal with it. If I'm using Chrome, um, maybe I find an article or a resource that's really useful, maybe I want to turn it into a task, I can use the extension up here to quickly uh, create a task based on this article. So maybe I'll assign that to myself now as well. That's a Chrome extension, and I'm on the Mac, and I'm a bit of a productivity geek. I use a tool called Alfred, which is a an advanced search application, and I'm using the Alfred webhooks to create tasks. So um, I will include a link to Zapier's blog post on how to set this up, but the, basically the way this works is um, I type the word task, the name of my task, a script gets run, and Zapier uh, actually uses this webhook. Uh, that's the trigger for the for the zap, and it will then create a new task in my Asana account. So this is a little bit more advanced. Um, uh, if you're using Alfred or if you're on a Mac, I'll include a link um, to how to, uh, to Zapier's resource on how you can set that up. So it's quite nice because I can just be anywhere on my system, and I can type a task. Here is a task, and there we go. I've added it to my task list. So it's a very quick way to be able to add new items. So I can go back to Asana now, and those are the things that we've created. So um, here's that task from Alfred. There's the email, um, including the attachment, and there's the article I've clipped as well. So there's, there, those are a couple of ways that you can quickly add items to Asana. And as I said before, what you want to do I would in fact first add due dates to these. Uh, maybe I can put it in a project as well, and then sort them accordingly. And finally, at the end of the day, one of the nice ways of closing out the day is to actually plan for tomorrow. So I actually have a saved search or a report here um, called due tomorrow. And the criteria for this is any incomplete task due within the next day. Now, obviously, at the end of the day, hopefully anything marked for today will have been completed, but it means I can view everything due tomorrow. What I then do is I will select the first task and holding shift on my keyboard, select the uh, bottom task, and then I will use the shortcut tab Y to mark all of them for today. So that's tab Y, and you can see they've all moved into here. And then what I might do is or organize them into these sections, morning, afternoon, and end of the day. So in, instead of doing my planning, like I said at the beginning, instead of doing that in the morning, I actually might do that at the end of the day. So tomorrow morning when I start um, my day, I can get straight into that first piece of work with, with my day already pre-planned out. So there you are. Those are some tips for how you can use Asana and take advantage of it regularly throughout the day. Key takeaways are to keep on top of the new tasks coming in in a team. Beginning, if you have any questions, please let me know and feel free to book a free uh, introduction if you're interested in learning more about my consulting options. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.